Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will set up a new Active Directory forest on Windows Server 2022 by installing and configuring Active Directory domain services with DNS server role. To install a new ADDS forest, we must deploy the first domain controller in that forest. This means deploying the ADDS server role on a Windows Server 2022 server computer and then promoting the server to a domain controller and choosing the option to add a new forest. There are two methods for installing ADDS and promoting your server to a domain controller. The first method using the installation wizard in Server Manager, which requires a desktop experience version of Windows Server 2022 to be installed. With the desktop experience, administrators have access to a full GUI interface for Windows Server. If you are using Server Core instead, you need to use the PowerShell commands, which we will cover later in this video series. First, change the name of your server after it has been set up. A static or a fixed IP configuration and assignment to your server is mandatory to ensure that the resources stay connected and remain accessible by the other computers. Now, you should be ready to start the installation. You must be a local administrator on the server on which you install Active Directory to proceed. Launch Server Manager, click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. The Add Rules and Features wizard starts with a Select Installation Type page. Ensure that the default of Role Base or Feature Base installation is selected, then click Next. On the Select Destination Server page, ensure that the Select a Server from the Server Pool option is selected and select your local server from the list displayed. Then click on Next. The Select Server Role page enables you to select the roles you want to install on your server. Select Active Directory Domain Services on a dialog box asking to install features that are required for ADDS Click Add Features to accept the installation of these features. Then click Next. On the Select Features page, select any additional server features you want to install on the server and then click Next. The Active Directory Domain Services page provides you with information and items to note about ADDS. Read the information provided. When finished, click Next. Note the information provided on the Confirm Installation Selection page and then click Install to begin installing Active Directory. The wizard displays an installation progress page that charts the progress of installation. After a few seconds, it displays the page that informs you that the ADDS role has been installed successfully. If you want to use the settings configured here on another server, click the link labeled Export Configuration Settings. To proceed with installing a domain controller, click the link labeled Promote this server to a domain controller. If you want to promote the server later, click Close to exit the wizard and return to Server Manager dashboard. Click on Close. After you have installed the binaries for ADDS, you must create a new forest by promoting the first domain controller in the forest. To do this, in Server Manager, click the yellow warning triangle in Notification and then click Promote this server to a domain controller. After you click Promote this server to a domain controller, the Active Directed Domain Services Configuration Wizards starts with the Deployment Configuration page. To create a new forest, click Add a new forest. This promotes the server to a domain controller that represents the forest root domain. Type the full DNS domain name of the forest root domain, for example, msftwebcast.com, and then click Next. 
Wait for few seconds. On the Domain Controller Options page, you have a number of choices to make. The Forest Functional Level determines which forest level features are available in your forest. The Forest Functional Level also defines the minimum domain functional level for domains in your forest. Thus, choosing Windows Server 2016 at this level means that the minimum domain functional level is also Windows Server 2016. Domain functional level determines the domain level features that are available in this domain. We will keep Windows Server 2016 for both forest and domain functional level. DNS provides the name resolution and is critical service for ADDS. This installs the DNS server role on this server. This option is selected by default when first installing ADDS because DNS is required for Active Directory. Global Catalog Servers provide forest-wide services. This option is not available but is selected when installing the first domain controller in root domain because this server must be a global catalog server. Read-only domain controller option determines whether this domain controller is a read-only domain controller. This option is not available because the first domain controller cannot be an RODC. Directory Services Restore Mode Password can be used to repair or restore the directory in certain troubleshooting situations. Make a careful note of the password you typed and store this note in a secure place. Let's specify the DSRM password here. Click Next. If you are installing DNS on the server, you will see the DNS Options page, which enables you to specify DNS delegation options. You might receive a message informing you that a delegation for the DNS server will not be created. You can ignore this warning at this moment. If required, you should manually create this delegation later on. Click Next. On the Additional Options page, define the NetBias domain name. The default NetBias name is the part of the ADDS forest name. For example, if your forest name is called msftwebcast.com, the NetBias name defaults to msftwebcast. Generally, you do not need to change this. This will be used for legacy NetBias communications on the network. Click Next. The Path page allows you to override the default locations for the Active Directory database, its transaction log, and the syswall folder. If you want to change any of these locations, type the desired path or click Browse. When setting up a domain controller on a production network, you should place the database and log folders on a separate drive from the syswall folder. The reason for doing so is to improve only I.O. performance. This does not improve security or fault tolerance. As we know that syswall shared folder is used to store group policy objects. When finished, click Next. Review the information provided on this page. If you want to change any settings, click Previous and make the appropriate changes. If you want to export information to a PowerShell script, click View Script and save this script with a proper path name and file name. Let me close it. When done, click Next to perform prerequisites check. The wizard displays a prerequisites check page that displays any notable information, errors or warnings. Read this information carefully and prepare for any resolutions you might need to perform. The bottom of the result box should read all prerequisites checks passed successfully. Click Install to begin installation. When ready to proceed, click on Install. The wizard proceeds to promote this server to a domain controller. This will also install DNS server role on this Windows Server 2022. The installation takes a few moments to complete and progress is listed in the operation results box. Note any messages 
that might appear on the progress section of the installation page. When the result page appears, verify that the server was successfully promoted to a domain controller. The promotion process has been completed successfully and a server is about to restart automatically to complete the installation process. After reboot, sign into your server computer using the domain administrator's account. Upon login, server manager dashboard will open automatically. Click on local server. On properties page, we can see computer name with domain name, which is ws2022-dc01 and domain name is msaptivewebcast.com. On server manager, you can also see ADDS and DNS services. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. In this window, we can see the name of our Active Directory domain, which is msaptivewebcast.com. Click on Domain Controllers OU. Here, we can see the computer account of our Windows Server 2022, and it is placed under Domain Controllers OU. Our server is also global catalog server which we can see from here. This Windows Server 2022 is now successfully promoted as a domain controller for a new Active Directory forest named amsaptivewebcast.com. This is the name of our forest root domain. That's all for this video on how to set up new Active Directory forest on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.